Welcome back to the Red Crew. Today we're going to be recapping UFC 290. Before we start, I'm going to introduce you everybody. To my left, I have David, and behind the on? camera, I'm producing, we have Josh. We're not going to put him on the camera yet. We're going to have a big reveal eventually. Uh, when, when we feel that you guys are ready. Uh, we're going to be recapping UFC 290. What do you think about it, Devin? It's fucking great, man. You actually watched yeah, the, pre- the prelims. Uh, prelims were good uh, from top to bottom. Uh, a bunch of like first round finishes. It was a good one. Yeah, you told me that you had like there was like three or four that were uh, first round finishes. Yeah. Uh, something around there. Like We even saw one on the main card. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was good. It was a good card. Yeah, hell yeah. So we'll start from the bottom up. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and recap the the card itself we had first Bo Nickel versus Val Woodburn mm-hmm. then Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker Robert Whitaker versus Dricus Duplessis then Brandon Moreno versus Alexandra Pintoja and last but not least Alexander Volkanovsky versus Jai Rodriguez all right so starting off with Bo Nickel versus well Val Woodburn <laughs> yeah that guy uh they talked about it <laughs> yeah he was cutting grass a week ago He's getting his ass whooped today. <laughs> so, hey, but he made money doing it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, um, what did you think about that fight? Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, so I don't watch UFC that much, yeah. right? Nice. So first off, just to watch it, I thought it was pretty interesting. But actually, like, watching the outcome of it, I thought it was pretty interesting. Yeah, man. Uh, that one was a quick one. I think that's the one that he took yeah. on the first. It's the most there. expected one that we, we knew that yeah. was going to happen. Uh, so dominantly. Yeah, Bo Nickel is just a—he's a prospect. They're, they're, he's they're, a beast, they're try, man. Yeah, they're trying to make bring him up to be the next. What do you call him, McGregor? Kind of, sorta. Yeah, he's got his own little movement going, yeah, yeah. and he's—he's um, he's, he's big on wrestling. But he throw—he yeah. threw them hands today, and uh, look—he looked good, man. He did good. He did yeah, good. he looked good. He definitely good. looked better than Val Woodburn. I wonder if there's anything that's gonna happen with Val Woodburn. Uh, what happens next to Bo, Bo, Bo Nickel? You gotta give him somebody who's ranked. Do you think, or he, do you think they still kind of give him like unranked people that are like undefeated? Uh, what do you yeah, do with him? so for him, I think he's good enough to fight ranked yeah. fighters, um, for sure. But um, you know, he kind of said it himself afterwards. He was like, "I'll take whoever they yeah. give me," yeah, yeah, which is smart. You know, you don't want to call somebody. You know, mm-hmm. like have your mouth. Uh, you know, just bite more off than you can chew. So uh, I think he's he's playing it smart. Um, but he is good regardless, yeah. ranked or not. He's he should well, win. What yeah. they were saying is that everybody was dodging him. Yeah, they're smart too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's good, man. Uh, especially like you know, like we just saw Volk. Mm-hmm. Like the wrestling yeah. is is very important in uh-huh. this in, in the UFC. And uh, apparently, strength is too. Yeah, <laughs> cardio. <laughs> yeah, that's a big think, one too. Uh, full bore nickel. I, I don't know if they'll give him anybody. I don't. Know. I, they still gotta keep fluffing it up. But I think if they give anybody from ten to fifteen ranked, I think. Um, they have to take the the fights first, you know. What's what's the weight class? He's uh, he's a middleweight, so middle he's weight. is his weight class. Is he? Yeah. So who's let's see who's number? I don't know any of these fighters. We have ranked at fifteen in the middleweight class: Chris Curtis and Andrew Munoz, Nasruddin Lamavov, mm-hmm. Kelvin Gastelum, okay. yeah. Brendan Allen, and then number ten Jack uh, Hermanson. I don't. <sighs> Just give him any one of those. Uh, yeah. Um, from the names that I heard, he's he's a good matchup with anyone there. Like, I think he, he'd be the favorite in at least that bottom mm-hmm. of the 15. There. you got to give him somebody who's going to give him kind of like a step up in competition, but still, yeah, you know, yeah, in order yeah. to keep building him the way that they're building him, they have to give him somebody who they, at least the company so see, thinks he's What's gonna the win. top five in there? Top five is, well, after Izzy is Alex Pereira, Robert Whitaker, we just saw. Yeah. Uh, Jared Cannonier, Marvin Vittori, and then Jerkins Duplessis. Okay. Yeah, those are, yeah, uh, definitely that's tougher. Pretty, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty, definitely pretty tougher. good. Pretty good fighters. Uh, after yeah. after uh, Bo Nickel, we had Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker. Damn. This was uh, a win for Dan Hooker. You're looking here. Look, he, he broke his, he fractured his arm. Yeah. Oh, he oh, did. Yeah. They asked him. Oh. Joe Rogan asked him. He, he's looking at the x-rays right now. Oh, oh shit. yeah. Shoot. I wonder how he caught the beast. That. Uh, Joe, Joe Rogan's an alien, bro. He sees everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he probably heard it or some <laughs> shit. So Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker. That was a split decision win. Fuck, that was a good one. Yeah, it was. That was a good one, man. Jalen Turner had the first round. Who who had the second round? Um, Dan Hooker. 
I think yeah. I think I'm horrible with my memory. Took yeah, yeah. He definitely took the second. Third one. That's when they started getting really even. Yeah. Third one, fourth one, fifth one. But the fifth one he definitely capitalized. So uh Um It was a decision, right? Yeah, it was a split decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Third round finish. But fuck, man. They were they were going at it. Fucking hooker's hair went from yellow to red. <laughs> uh, from white to red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a ginger at the end of that shit. They were giving him crap. Chesco was giving for him the crap hair, for man. having that hair. Oh, but yeah, hey, yeah, he, he pulled through with that hair. That fucking hair came through, man. I don't know, dude. That that one was a little too close for comfort, though, because I, I, I thought... Jalen turns. I thought he was going to pull. He's through. ranked like just one above him. Yeah, which is like it's crazy how those rankings work. Like it was really even fight. But uh, man, he, he pulled it off. We said this was there. a car for the underdogs, and that Dan was Hooker was an underdog. I got yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, who who does Dan Hooker get next? Dan Hooker was at eleven mm-hmm. or twelve. Maybe he's like I don't know. They'll push him up to like ten or something. But. Um, yeah, what's what's uh what's that r- ranking look like? Let me see. Dan Hooker. Okay. So, got Jalen Turner, which he just beat. Mm-hmm. Grant Dawson, Rafael de Sanchez, Armand, um, Atios Gamrot, Rafael okay. Fiziev. I don't think it gets. I don't know, because he just he he fought Michael Chandler. He lost against Michael Chandler, so he's not gonna get anybody. Top five. Probably past that, yeah. yeah. Dos Sancho's probably a good one. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Just because they're both like, they both got like, you know, their own kind of, they both got like a fan base, pretty good fan base. Yeah. Two good names. Um, But, man, I, I didn't know Dos Sancho would be ranked above him. Yeah, Dos Sancho's won his last fight. He lost a fight before that. Yeah. I, I like Dos Sancho's for him. I think that'd be good, man. Just uh, kind of get him back on that road to the top again. Because yeah. he's, what did he like, change uh, weight divisions or something recently? So I think I no, like he, he just lost. So he lost. Losing? It was kind of on a losing streak. I know that I he know. lost. Losing streak. Yeah. Kind of on a losing streak. <laughs> he he won against uh, Pools. I think that's his name. Mm. He won against Turner. He lost again against Allen. He lost against Makachev. Mm-hmm. He once again he won against Hack Parast. But then before that he lost against Chandler. So let's see. One, like two, 50, three, 50 four, almost. five, six. Let's look at let's look for the last six fights. Yeah, he's fifty fifty. Yeah. Yeah, fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. Okay, but now he's back on a lo- in a winning streak, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um uh, I I say I agree with you. I feel all those times just for that. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Not a crazy step up, but still a step mm-hmm. up. And um, I don't know. I think they kind of keep it on the feet and make it a good fight. Yeah. Just yeah. like this one. This one was good. Next fight. Robert Whitaker versus Drickus Duplessis. Ooh. Did you see that going the way that it did? I know that I motherfucker. That motherfucker I, is strong. Yeah. like For not knowing anything, I couldn't have predicted that. No. Wait, you, 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 who did you think was going to win? Duplessis. Uh, oh, yeah, he won, he won, he won, he won. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard you wrong. Uh, okay. Robert Whitaker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn, man, that one was, I don't know, man, I I, I, I feel for Whitaker, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, you know, getting older, he's, you know, he's he's always that guy where they're like, all right, fuck it, fight Whitaker, and then we'll see where he put you. He's like, kind of like that. But that, no, but Robert Whitaker has won every... They said it. Like he's won every fight except for the fights against Izzy. Uh, against Izzy. Against Izzy. Yeah. So this one, this one, yeah. this is a bad loss for him for sure. He was supposed to handle that guy, and and also the way he lost because it wasn't even like a decision decision loss. He won. He lost in the yeah. Let's see what third the second, second third? round Fuck, second round by CKO. Too soon, man. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's. I saw it as him. He, he was gonna like just piece him up. You know, like. Not even take it to the ground at all, right, but make it a technical fight, and then uh, I saw Duplessis' power though. He's he's got yeah, some he's power a, yeah. on him, yeah, he is. and um, he's he's pretty built, you know. <laughs> but um, when they went in there, they looked like they were different weight classes. Yeah, but then again, I mean, it's, oh, you're talking Whitaker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he's 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 a pretty stocky guy, but um, 
of course, at the end of that, we saw Izzy walk in there, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't think he has a chance against Izzy. Fuck and that's that. what my next question was going to yeah. be: How do you think Duplessis goes against Izzy? Because mm -hmm. this is definitely that fight was for the number one contender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, it would have been Whitaker versus Izzy again, which is like, well, fuck. The third time is usually not the charm <laughs> against <laughs> Izzy. Um, but um, yeah, man, I don't see him getting past Izzy. There's no way, dude. Izzy fought fucking Pereira. Izzy fought fucking uh, Izzy's. Izzy's been on a roll, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously the Pereira one was like he he lost it and he got it back, but um, I don't know. Pereira hits fucking hard, and mm -hmm. you know, it took him out the first time, but uh, the second time he had a you know he had his number. Yeah. So um, he's he's been in there with some heavy hands, and I don't think Duplessis got it like that. I think the only way that Duplessis has it is if he does exactly what he did to to Whitaker to Issy, where he just kind of catches him in the first round. Cause I think it was, uh, what was it, like a counter or something? Like, I yeah. think Whitaker was in there, and then he just caught like a, it was like an overhand or something, and then, fuck, that was it. Whatever it was, it worked. He, he, yeah, man, Whitaker, he like fell funny, and like, I don't, I don't know if his legs were out or what, but I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I, I just yeah. knew you could <laughs> tell, dude, right there. Yeah. That shit was bad. He's, he, he's going to, in order for Drickus to win, he's going to have to do what he did with with Whitaker, where he, which yeah. is he went all out the first round, well, all in the second round. I don't know if he's going to be able to last more more than three Hell rounds. Hell no. Um, what, yeah, pretty sure he was looking a little tired already. But also, fucking Whitaker, he, he looked gassed after like that first you round. You think so? He lo it looked that way. Like um, you know, he was like sitting down and just like <laughs> like it, it didn't look like the regular Whitaker. So. I, I I didn't see that. Yeah. If anything, it was more like. To me, it was more that he was kind of shocked that, that he was getting pieced up the way that he was. Yeah. He was holding his own, too. So I don't know. It's um, Man, what, What's next for Whitaker, then? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel for him because that was like... He's been he's been beating everybody other than than Adesanya. And he was, what, number one contender at, at the time? No, he was number two. Number two? Let's see. Does he... Has he fought Pereira? Because that's the only person that can think... Nah, but Pereira, Pereira's gone. He moved up. Oh, he did move up. He, yeah, I think he's he's. Oh, okay, well, he yeah, then, on that shit already. Then, then who else? Okay, look, Pereira, he's just gonna have to be a, a gatekeeper now, yeah. to the top. Yeah, like that's that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, maybe he's not really like a gatekeeper, but to get to Izzy, you gotta get through Whitaker exactly. type of thing, you know. And mm -hmm. it's just like, well, fuck, I, I could beat up anyone lower ranked than me, but mm -hmm. I he, obviously he wants the title, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't find but fuck, man. Polo Costa. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think the next fight that we're going to see is going to be um, the, the rematch between Whitaker and Duplessis. Because I don't think that Duplessis beats Israel Asanja. If this Israel Asanja... Dang, man. If Israel wins, then the fight is definitely Whitaker versus Duplessis again. Two. I think so. I, I say he deserves a rematch. Yeah. I don't know. He... Um, he didn't look like the Whitaker I know. I don't know. I was just I yeah. felt something was weird. When you talked to him this weekend, he's like, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, you fucking crazy bastard, you're doing it again. <laughs> but um, he didn't yeah, follow your man. game plan, huh? He didn't follow your game plan. He didn't listen, man. No. He didn't listen. I Always been listen over to there. David. Yeah, dude. rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was uh, another underdog win right there uh -huh. against. Uh, Against w somebody who Whitaker. we thought for sure yeah, was for, yeah, win. yeah, for sure. I did put some money on Duplessis though, just just for the fuck of it. And you don't believe? Yeah, he's your friend. You <laughs> talked to him this weekend. No trust. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, next fight. Good. Next fight is Brandon Moreno versus Alexandre Pantoja. What probably a fight. fight of the night. No, not probably. It's definitely fight of the night. It went yeah, to yeah, decision. yeah, for sure, for sure, fight and of the night. Actually, both of them look bloodied up. Damn, dude. Yeah, nah, that's but it's true. So crazy. That one was another one that was like crazy even. Like, I think it was like the same thing as the as the um that third fight. Uh, it was like a the one Jalen one Turner fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely like one got it the first round, yeah. and the second round, and then three, four, five were just fucking. Yeah. Yeah. We said Pentoja won the first round for sure. Yeah, that's what it was. Pentoja first. Brandon won the second round. Second round, and then. Third I don't know was, about you, but third, fourth, and fifth were all up in the air. Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. Because um, I think even Joe Rogan was like, how do you even fucking yeah. score this yeah. shit? Dude? Like, <laughs> and, and the, the reason why, yeah. to me, it was so hard to, to judge is because 
Du- it was uh, like Pantoja the, had his back the whole time. It was the or takedowns. He, yeah. yeah. So they were they were definitely giving him points just for control. Yeah. But he was doing anything. He wasn't doing anything when he was down. Well, Brandon then was the, more active whenever they were on the exactly. ground. Exactly. Well, there was times where um, Pantoja would take him down. Right. You mm-hmm. get points for yeah, the takedown. Yeah. 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 But then after that, Moreno just gets right on top of him and starts beating his <laughs> yeah. ass. So it's <laughs> like with the reverse. It's like Moreno's like, ah, thanks, thanks for bringing us down here. I'm gonna whoop yeah. your ass now. But but UFC they count those takedowns for a lot, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So I mean, and then then the time control and whatnot. Yeah, Josh, from somebody who doesn't really follow UFC, when you watched that fight, who did you think won that fight? So I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to say either of their names. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the, the, the Mexican guy or the Brazilian guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely thought the Mexican guy was gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it was, I wanted, um, yeah, I wanted to make dude, dude uh, Pantoja's face was fucked up. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was like, he was the one was like that was all bloody dude. at the and end the of elbows it, right? Came in clutch for everybody. Everybody yeah. was loaded up from the elbows. <laughs> Those goddamn elbows, uh-huh. man. I swear, that's that's a, that's a key right there, yeah. man. I saw like uh, Leon Edwards, like he's he's really good with his elbows. Uh huh. Fucking make some do some damage with that. But um, that was a good fight, man. Um, what do you think it does to Brandon Moreno's like? His morality, the, the the his ego, his his <laughs> has, like his, his reputation. Mind, no? So what, he has lost to this guy three times now. Yeah, right? are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So he lost to him at the uh, the Ultimate Fighter, right? Ultimate Fighter before they were like yeah. pros, you could say. But way this is like Ultimate Fighter is a show that they they uh, basically they start weeding them out to see who's going to come up to the main card, right? Yeah. Who's going to be in the in the UFC? So he lost to him in the Ultimate Fighter, basically. Kicking him off the show, okay, mm. and then he lost again to him again uh, um, in the UFC, and then now for this one, this one was for the title though. Thing? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it's like it's like the Izzy thing. Izzy lost oh, to that guy Marita. a bunch of times, and yeah, when it came to the big stage, he lost. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's definitely something there. But I mean, going back to Izzy, he he got that win back, so it's possible. That's true. And uh, Brandon Moreno with this fucking belt, man. <laughs> he isn't like yeah. keeping it, man. He, he's like he gets it, he loses it, he fucking gets Wait, it again. This is gonna be what? This is maybe like his third time, third time, yeah, being a world champion. And I wonder, cause like, you know how like um, when you get a belt, like you, they put like a like a stone on it, yeah, like yeah. per yeah. per like um, defense. Mm-hmm. He's never gonna get a fucking stone, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he oh, always I loses didn't know that. It. I didn't know that. Yeah, like. Like I think I don't know. I guess like maybe Israel has like a bunch of them. Or, oh okay. But um yeah, I, I saw something about that. and I'm like, man, this guy doesn't like them stones. I guess <laughs> he's like, just give me the belt. <laughs> yeah, that's all he cares about. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's interesting though. Yeah. Yeah, like um, it's it's a good story back there. So yeah, they could I run agree. that back um right away. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. that that's what I was gonna say. I think they just let him heal up and then they'll do it again. Yeah. Brandon loves them. The 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 third <laughs> fights and the fourth fights, huh? Yeah, the rounds, right? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm talking about the fights. The, 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 oh, the, the you're saying he day. likes going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes his little trilogy and shit. shit. Yeah, trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Against Figueroa, he had what four fights? I think they went to four. He went to four fights, four and then five, with this one, they're already on number two. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's yeah. it's it's crazy. But um, it is it is a total of three wins over him. So that's that's definitely gotta fuck with them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, this will be the fourth one again. The this the next the, yeah fight. the next one yeah, yeah. The next one coming up yeah yeah <laughs> dang man fucking Moreno man ah I, I don't know man that was it was a bad day for the Mexicans for sure yeah that's yeah, yeah. that seems to be the theme and the, the, in the prelims feel... in the prelims there was one Mexican that that I think he had like one of the fastest knockouts oh yeah yeah like seventeen seconds or something oh, there we go see yeah, we got so, one Mexican yeah yeah, hey, yeah. yeah one <laughs> there you go in the prelims you know. <laughs> Um, I think yeah, this was pretty self-explanatory for for me. Brandon Moreno and Pintoja are gonna run it yeah. back. Um, do you think they do it? But before the end of the year, that one I don't know. Yeah, it's. I mean, was it? We're it's already, already in, in July, right? July, yeah. It's yeah. Too, so too it's soon. probably the beginning of next probably year. Probably too soon. Yeah, but um, the, they should run it back. This is that was such a good fight. Um, the one that the thing that tripped me up about that was the the one guy that scored it for Moreno. He scored He's a, it crazy. Yeah, he scored it 49 46. 
Yeah. It was like four 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 yeah. runs to one, which I didn't see that at all. But see, that's the thing though. Like I I, I get it. it's like a crazy score because it's like way low for uh, Pantera. What's his name? Pantosha. 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 But um. Yeah, I was like, man, dude, that's. I think if it was gonna be forty nine to one, it would have been for Pantoja, because he had, he had control in the third, fourth, and fifth yeah. with them takedowns, and we knew he won the first round. So yeah. that to me, it's a four to one. I'm trying to think, cause yeah, it's, it's the scoring's fucked in UFC. It, no, it's, no, hard yeah, to, it's hard. It's hard. They, to they score. definitely outweigh yeah. the the activity. They they, they weigh the. Ground control and the takedowns more than they do the activity. When, yeah. When, if you're on the ground or not. But like, man, it, it, like even the Moreno was striking really well with him. So I'm like, yeah, that's got to count for something too. Yeah. Like, like if you have like way more significant strikes, I feel like that counts more than takedowns. Just because, especially like as in these situations, like the takedowns were like, cool, I got you down, but now you're, now you're not doing ass. nothing. Yeah, yeah. You're not doing nothing. And if anything, Moreno is doing more. Yeah, when you're down there, then exactly. you are. Yeah, yeah. Something that's. Uh, so I get that part of it. Like maybe that judge was thinking like that, but still, that that was a crazy scorecard. I thought it was pretty even. Something that Chesco was saying in the, in the text messages was that apparently they don't count the jabs. So he was actually it watching it though. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, he was was watching it. Uh, yeah, apparently, uh, I take it with a grain of salt because it's Chesco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but apparently they don't count the the jabs as significant strikes. And he really? had a lot of those. That's how he kept him. They sure were yeah, talking about it an like, awful lot to not count it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, those. That was they like his damage. Main hit. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Uh, Moreno, that's like the fucking. That's the thing that was like consistently uh-huh. there. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. This guy was not protecting his face at all. He just. He kept getting he those was jabs. Eating and, the shots. Yeah. Oh, damn, dude. Maybe that's what it is then, huh? That, they that's don't the only, only thing I could think about. If they don't count that, because that. He did a lot of damage with that fucking jab. I'll tell yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah. That's why his face is all fucked up. He could do skin in one, two, one, two. Yeah. Man. But uh, yeah, Moreno's good with those elbows too. So oh, that's true. There's a lot of that um, in the, cl- in the clinch off. and while they were down. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess he didn't do enough though, because yeah, that was a close one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know how to score it. I didn't know who won at the end. I think the ones that are definitely the definitive is the first and second, right? We knew, Those were the most yeah, like to, to, you, you and I were talking about it. it yeah. The first one is definitely going to Pantoja. Second one is definitely going to Moreno. I thought the third one was the most up in the air. I thought mm-hmm. fourth went to Pantoja, and then I thought the f- the fifth might have gone to Pantoja too because he held him on his back. Yeah, but he wasn't doing anything when he had him. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. like he was literally standing up. Moreno was standing up with him as a backpack. Think, um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Earlier in the prelims, there was one ref who was, um, uh, I forgot what fight it was, but whenever they were like, you know, clinched up, mm-hmm. he was like, come on, do something, do yeah, something. Yeah, do yeah. something. If they had that ref, it would have been a different yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah, because he would have he would have been like, get the fuck out, down. Yeah, he's you, less tolerant yeah, to no, no action. Exactly. That's there why was a moment in the floor where they were literally just, it was a stalemate. They were yeah, doing they anything. Yeah, they took a nap, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they took a nap. You, you could if it was a different yeah. ref, yeah. and that wouldn't have let them work through those little... Mm. Hiccups right there, yeah. it would have been a different fight. But also, like I, I did hear Joe Rogan like, Yeah, hey, I like how this ref exactly. is letting yeah. them work, yeah. but there was moments they weren't doing nothing. So I mean, um different ref, maybe different mm-hmm. outcome, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think- feel like Brandon was always doing something. Pentoja was always That's what I'm saying. He, yeah. he, they, they were talking about how gas he was getting. Yeah, but Pantoja's he's he's weird, right? Like no facial expressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same. And the Moreno whole fight. has that little, that kind of kind of small, <laughs> that smirk. little smirk he does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's so funny, dude. All right, oh, so yeah. I think they'll they'll run it back. Hopefully, before that one's, the end yeah. of the year, but most likely, uh, beginning of next year. Yeah. Next, uh, next fight. The I don't know if you call this co-main event. But it's the last fight of the card. It's Alexander Volkanovsky versus Jair Rodriguez. Mm-hmm. Did we see it going any other way? I was going for Rodriguez uh, just because I like how he, he fights and stuff. And um, just because I remember we were talking about how uh, Volkanovsky seemed like he wasn't... Um, I wouldn't say taking the fight seriously, but like he was worried about other shit, right? And yeah, you wanna yeah, you wanna yeah. focus on the fucking your, He your, was already thinking about guard, uh, you know? about Makachev. Makachev again. Yeah. yeah. And then you said he talked about him again after mm-hmm. the fight. So yeah. I mean I guess it's good, you know. 
if he was confident enough that he would he could yeah. take Rodriguez out, he was like already looking past him. But um, yeah, that guy's a fucking beast, dude. <laughs> Did you? S- <laughs> fucking, we were talking about how strong he was. He's fucking strong. His back is rippled in muscles. <laughs> And anytime he was getting he was get, getting a takedown, there was no no objection from Gary Rodriguez. Literally, mm-hmm. he would pick him up, drop him down. At the end, Dude, yeah. he had him rocked, and all he did was get him to the fence, pick him up, put him down, and knock him out. Yeah, he's he's a beast, man. He's like a fucking pit bull in there, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a small, short, stocky guy, but yeah. apparently that fucking works in that weight class, man. Because yeah, so. I feel like everybody he fights is taller than him. Like he doesn't give a sh- he doesn't care. Let's see what the stats were. But see, and this is what I was thinking about. He's the only person who I see Alexander Volkanovsky mm-hmm. using his short height as an advantage. Yeah, because Ooh. he like he has Yair kind of kneel down to actually fight him instead yeah. of. Instead of doing what he needs to do. But he has to do that because if he doesn't do that, then he's not ready for the takedowns. But it doesn't really matter because Alexander Volkanovsky is such a good wrestler that he was getting them anyways. Strong as hell. Yeah, this, this is the first time he used a lot of his wrestling. Isn't that, yeah, and that's yeah. what they were saying. It was yeah. the first time they used... Well, in a while, I guess you could yeah. say. Cause he's, he seemed utilizing the, the, that wrestling. Yeah. <sighs> good game plan from him. I yeah. mean... Um, he got him out there, what, third round? Second third, yeah. round? Yeah. yeah. The first, beginning mean, of the yeah. third round. No, no need to take him to the, the, end to of the, the deep room. waters. Yeah. yeah, just get him out of there. And uh, yeah, I remember him throwing uh, Yair yeah, throwing like one of his crazy kicks that usually lands like on <laughs> on fighter's chest and yeah. hit him in the yeah, head. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this short ass motherfucker. Dude. <laughs> 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 He's usually hitting people here, and then he got fucking <laughs> chin slapped with the foot. I was like, yeah, yeah. man. This is... But um, yeah, yeah, Yair, he couldn't. I don't know if he just couldn't find the range or what, but he just. Those takedowns mm-hmm. fucked him up, man. He he couldn't do nothing down there. What's what's uh next for uh, Volkanovski? Volkanovski? Well, obviously he wants that Makachev, yeah. which is, um, I think it's smart because Makachev is gonna rip up anybody else mm-hmm. in his division. I think um, he's too good. And you think so? Uh, you don't think he beats uh, uh Oliveira, Poirier, Gagey, Darius? Darius I like probably... uh, Oliveira to fight him. Um, just because I'm a big fan. Of, yeah, yeah, I know. But um, I think uh, Oliveira after his last fight, he looked fucking good, man. He looked really good, and um, I think if he carries that momentum into a Makachev fight, he yeah. could he could probably even it out, you know? Because okay, obviously the the, the, with, with Makachev? the last the last fight was pretty one sided. Yeah. Um, Makachev was too good yeah. that night. The, this weight class is so stacked. We got fucking Dustin crazy. and Justin. Fighting here in two weeks. That one's going to be good. So they're not going to be fighting Makachev anytime soon. Yeah, exactly. Benil Darius just lost to Oliveira. Mm-hmm. Michael Chandler is in the, is in the uh, ultimate fire. Who's supposedly, supposedly supposed to be fighting Conor McGregor. McGregor. But apparently we'll Conor see. McGregor didn't uh, stats for Usado. So we don't even know if that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, who knows? So... Dude. The only person that I, you're completely correct that, that that I can see fighting Makachev again is in Oliveira. that division, yeah, is, of course, is of course. Oliveira. Yeah, because man, what what division did they fight for? Who uh, Volkanovski and him? Oh, he went up. Vol- Volkanovski went up to to lightweight. Oh, okay. So it would have been if if Volkanovski would have won, mm. it would have been a double champ at the lightweight and the featherweight division. Got it. Okay. So yeah, now nah, that makes sense. I I say uh, running back with Oliveira. Hopefully Oliveira comes back. Like, cause I, I remember that fight. I I saw Oliveira different. Just like I was saying, like I saw kind of Whitaker different. Yeah. Like I don't I don't I don't know. But what like it was. the opposite way of Whitaker, right? Um, Whitaker, you saw him different, like in the bad way. No, no, that's what I meant. Like yeah, Oliveira, yeah. I saw him like not really himself, you know. So um, in the uh, Makachev fight, in the Makachev oh, fight, okay, yeah, okay, okay. he was. I don't know. He was. He was like. Too nice, you know. I, gotcha. I don't like that shit, you know. Like he's about to <laughs> he's fight, about the, to fight. He's about to fight yeah, this guy. It. Like fuck it. Like respect him after yeah. the fight, mm-hmm. not not during or not. Well, exact. Well, I mean, yeah. not before. You know, you don't want to give him that that edge on you. But uh, I think Oliveira comes out better on the next one, better fight, and then we'll see. You know, um, I think this. Damn, year. Oliveira Volk, that'd be fucking crazy too. <laughs> Who do you think has that one? I don't know, dude. Because I, I think maybe we, Volk, we we noticed that Volk has great exactly. wrestling, right? Yeah, but is it better than than Oliveira's Jiu Jitsu? Hmm. 
Oliveira's got some power too, but fucking Volk can eat anything. Like yeah. he's he's just a he beast. likes some rocks for breakfast, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't know, man. That one's tough. That one's tough because I feel like Volk, although he's lighter, he's fucking strong. Yeah. So we like, saw that today. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking strong. So uh, that's a tough, that's a tough him? one for me. Yeah. I, I, I I wouldn't be able to say right now. But um, yeah, I, I like um, Oliveira versus Makachev for the next fight. Yeah. Or, obviously, Volk and Makachev if he just waits for that fight. But uh, I don't know. I, 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 I see Makachev as someone who wants to stay active. So. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, we'll so. see. But Volk, yeah, for Volk, if it's not Makachev, I don't know who, man, because he tears everybody uh, up. Then that's a problem. Yeah. So he's, 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 he's got to get out of through his division. division. Yeah, he's got to he get out. He has nobody nearly... What's, what's under to him? him? What's what's the name? Jair, who just fought Max yeah. Holloway, who he's beat like three times. No. Byron Ortega, no. Arnold Allen, uh, Ilya Tupuri, no. Josh Emmett, Calvin Cater, Chang Sung Yung, Guy Gija. Gija after that, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like he's just on another level. He's, he's, he's so much on another yeah. level that they're thinking he might not even that Islam Akhachev might not even beat him. Yeah. Who do you who do you think wins the fight? Because Islam Akachev fifth, uh, it was a decision fight. It was a decision, which it was a split decision. I thought Volk did pretty good. I I, I maybe I'm a little biased, you know, because I was like fuck Makachev because he beat Oliveira, but uh, <laughs> I thought he, uh, I thought it was, it was more even than a lot of people thought. I thought Volk. I gotta rewatch the fight to say that he won it. But um, I at least thought it was closer than maybe some of the scorecards or something because Volk did good, man. Yeah. And if you look at Makachev after that fight, he looked like fucking Pantera mm-hmm. after fighting Moreno. You yep. Know? So, um, yeah, I don't I don't know about that one. But, uh, yeah, I think a rematch between him and Makachev would be fun too. Okay. Um, so on the other side of it, Rodriguez. Rodriguez, yeah, that's... Who do we feed Rodriguez to? I mean, I think Rodriguez does good uh, against anyone in that division too. When that's a problem, yeah, because it's like, like uh, I don't, know, there's not really like a formula to get back to the belt, right? Because mm-hmm. obviously you gotta wait for the champ to fight whoever he wants to fight, and then you gotta fight someone yourself, right? Yeah. But like everybody at the moment is under you, so it's like you don't progress really yeah. fighting anybody. It's kind of like a, it's just a shit position when you lose as a first contender, mm-hmm. you know. So I don't know, but he's good, man. He uh, he'll he'll be fine against anyone. I think it's just um, um, I don't know if it takes one fight or two fights to get back to that that title. Cont- you know. That so let, let's see the, the rankings, right? The rankings is is Max Holloway's next. That'd be cool. Max versus uh, they fought already. They fought already, yeah. but that, I think. Yeah, I think he, he takes it again against Max Holloway. Byron Ortega. Ortega would be good because they're both pretty good wrestling, but they like striking. Mm-hmm. So They fought already. They fought beginning of the, literally the same time last year. Who won? Uh, Rodriguez. Okay, yeah. I would, I would say that makes sense, yeah. Ortega's, Ortega's like, like, like Whitaker right now. He's just been in the game so long. It's like yeah. he's not as reliable as he used to be, so... Okay, I can Arnold, see that. Allen, Ilian, Tupor. Let's see. Arnold Allen. Arnold Allen looks like he's young. That might be a good one. Have they fought? No. They haven't fought, but he lost against Holloway. It's 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 so hard, man. You, you're not. Whenever you are at that position, Damn, yeah. Well, Max Holloway yeah. is like one of those guys too. You don't know who's showing mm-hmm. up sometimes. He could just be fucking on point, just fucking yeah. boxing people out, or he could lose to like fucking uh-huh. yeah, you're Rodriguez and Ilya Tupuria, Tupuria or Topuria, or however you want to say his name, <laughs> is a guy that that Volk Volk started talking to whenever he got out of the out of the cage. Remember? That's the guy. Yeah, you asked oh, me. Oh shit! Okay, so, and, and he's ranked what number four? Let's see. Oh, he's the one that beat up Josh Emmett yeah. in the last one. He's ranked number five, so he he. He good enough to fight the yeah. champ, I say. Uh, anything, and uh, anything after five, now nah, you got to fight someone in the five and then go for the champ. 
But uh, anything in the in the first five, I think is good enough. But do you to think fight he fights champ. Volkanovski? Like Volkanovski won, it's superior than most people in this division. Mm -hmm. All people in this division. Yeah. He's going to be fighting Makachev next. Mm. When that happens, I don't know. I would think yeah. that it's probably by the end of the year. Cause yeah. He looked like he was unfaced in this fight. Yeah, this is a little too easy for him. So I think the only other person that he can fight that might give him a little bit of trouble is... Maybe that guy. He lost Parker. against Max Holloway. Yeah. But you can feed him to Yair. Feed yeah. him to Ortega. Yeah. I could see that. Um but they, they did a little face off. Like, there was like something there. So maybe yeah, it's just but like. I, really, I take that with a grain of salt because, yeah. like we said, Alexander Volkanovsky, if, if, if it does happen, it's going to be Alexander Volkanovsky fights Makachev. Okay. After he finds Makachev, then he fights uh, like, Ilya. Yeah. But by that, I, if I'm Ilya, like I want to fight somebody, I want to make some money. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, but I also don't know. want to lose stock, right? Yeah. So if I, if I lose to anybody. Well, you, kinda, you said it earlier, like, yeah, he'll take Yair while he's doing the market. Yeah, fight. And that's what I, that's why I think yeah. that fight makes sense. Yeah, and then you know they meet up yeah. on the other side of those fights, you know. So that'd be good, actually. It, but, is um, it, it? Can you say you can feed it into, or you can give him to Yair Rodriguez, being that he locks Max Holloway? Nah, it's it's still uh, it's still someone that's above you, right? Let me, let me just make sure so that gets, I get my get my information closer. correctly. I said Ilya. Ilya lost to. Oh, actually, never mind. He hasn't he hasn't fought Max Holloway. My oh. apologies. Uh, yeah, I say definitely give him to to Yair, or Holloway, or Ortega. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's got to fight someone above him. You know. Yeah. Just uh, that's just how the shit works, right? Mm -hmm. Like you need to climb up a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. And um, I think any of those fights, like I, I, I can't, I can't. I remember, I I remember him fighting Emmett, and he yeah. fucking that guy's face was fucked up after that <laughs> fight. <laughs> that one was bad, but um, he's a good striker, man. Mm -hmm. So really, any of those, you know, like Holloway's a good striker. Um, Rodriguez was a good striker, not today, but he's a good striker. Um, Ortega's more, I would say, he's, well, he's got a little bit of both. A, more well rounded, you could yeah. say. So yeah, any any one of those three really, they're all good. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's a UFC that 290 post-fight analysis. Let us know what you think. We have uh, Mr. David over here, who is our UFC uh, professional. Yeah, I, he, watch, he I watch everything UFC. Everything about the UFC. And you have me. I'm the amateur. <laughs> uh, I'm the one that watches it every other weekend just to see what's going on. And, and we just kind of roll with the punches, just like uh, we you guys did. Yep. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to let us know what you think about everything do, that we do. Uh, um, follow us <laughs> on our other social medias, Instagram, TikTok. And I'm sure we'll we'll see each other some other day. Some other time. Uh, don't forget to come back for the 291 fight. We're actually going to be there. Nice. So yeah. don't judge us if we are not in our senses. <laughs> but until next time. Nice. Peace. Deuce.